So, you are? I am Pieter Jonsson, and this is the global headquarters of Medialux <laughs> Music Productions. Fantastic. <laughs> there aren't any other, but still, <laughs> it sounds more important. Wow. Well, the first thing that strikes me, other than your immense tannoys, is what a view. It's beautiful, isn't it? That's incredible. Actually, my last studio was a black molten studio with no windows. Okay. And when we were offered to come here, I quickly claimed this spot, okay. also because of the ceiling I liked. because of okay. And then I decided I wanted to have bright colors and the window. These were the two things. And I actually went to great lengths. Uh, historically speaking, the material on the walls is... I, I went all over Iceland to find something light. Right. And it's the fabric they made stretch pants out of. Excellent. I bought the whole thing. So you're inside <laughs> the biggest stretch pants in history. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> do you record people in here? And uh, absolutely. Yeah? I do everything apart from drums in here. Okay. Um, I'm a media composer, so I do a lot of stuff for TV ads and, and film and television. So basically that means I don't do a lot of drum recording. We have a drum room in the okay. cluster which you can use. But for all the rest, I do everything. Lots of guitars, of course, which is okay. as one yeah, might... Evident. Yeah. yeah. So what are your prefer preferred uh, mic pre's? I have Ooh, one of pretty. the first Shadow Hills Gamma 8, actually. Um, I had to wait for almost half a year for this because this is when they were getting really popular. Right. Um, for St. Ive channels and, and, you know, if you know these, they're amazing, actually. They yeah. are Swiss Army knives. You have three colors to a channel. I rarely use more than two channels at once in, okay. in the line of work I do. Sure. Uh, but I love them. I've tried many others and I always come back to this. It just works and it's good stuff. Fantastic. And I say, is this a Taft? No. This is a Trident Trimix, okay. actually. And you use that? I did occasionally. I don't anymore because I used, I would send two channels through it for, because it has a great EQ. Okay. And then I got these. So I have these now. Okay. I, I I I insert this whole thing on a bus, and I will carve out all the EQ and do the compression I want to the bus. And so I, but I I can't sell it. No, it's, it's too so beautiful. nice. It is, and it's a nice yeah. seat for your. Yeah, for, for for this guy, which is the the mascot of the studio, <laughs> actually called Sauron. <laughs> <laughs> Little seeing eye. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. So what is in this lunchbox? It's a pair well, of shadow. Yeah, the Shadow Hills Mono, Mono uh, the monograph, I think it's called, okay. which I use, which is constantly in my vocal chain. Okay. Not doing a lot, just adding Tickling. a little color, yeah. And then I have the, the, the stereo version, which is basically the VCA unit from the, from the big mastering oh, wow. uh, okay. compressor. And Alicia, I have the EQ and a compressor that I don't use a lot, but the EQs are great. I, I, I love them. They get and a lot of use. you just do that by hand? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I do that. This is when I reach the end of, you know, I, I work a lot on, in the box because I have to because of the turnaround times yeah, we have. Course. So, uh, but if I have the time to do something like that, I would, I would do that. And that's the, actually the latest stage of everything. Okay. You know. And stemming makes this all kind of complicated yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So you've got the, uh, the, the curved screens, which yeah. I'm, I'm a big evangelist of. Yeah. Well, Fairly new thing. Yeah, that is, it's great. I used to have just the 30 inch, Likewise, the old one. Yeah. I love that one, actually. It's a great monitor. And you work in Logic? Yeah. Excellent. All and uh, I mean, other than your audio work and stuff, you, you use a lot of virtual instruments? and Absolutely. Yeah. I use, yeah, almost everything there is. Yeah. <laughs> I like to have a toolbox full of tools and then Absolutely. apply what I need. Those late, late, like, those like late night emergencies, it's always nice to have something that yeah. you can unwrap. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, actually, I think like new sound libraries, new virtual instruments can be such an inspiration because when you're trying them out, you get an idea and you do it. It's one of the things that I actually think that, you know, that can inspire you to create. Yeah. I like when you have a new tool, you're going to do something with it. 
you know. Yeah, absolutely. No, First of all, you have to justify that you purchased it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but then it's also, you hear something new and you get an idea and then you go ahead and you do it. Yeah. And your, your main monitors are the, is it 5 days? This or? is the Air 6. Air 6, okay, yeah. yeah. Which so, have an amazing bottom end, don't they? They are nice, they use the subwoofer. So <clears throat> I actually came from the BM15As, which yeah. I loved. And I bought these on a whim and immediately fell in love with them because they're quite punchy because of the small cones and so on. Yeah. And everything I do in them just translates really well. At least I've got... And then I have these when I'm doing something bigger and I can always turn on the town noise and get the feel I'm in a... And um, the Ensonique I don't think I've seen before. I used to use an Ensonique SQR. Actually a no, there's so. actually a couple of reverbs there that... that that it still hasn't been beaten, but I would, of course, we would all like to have a Bricasti M7 in our studios, and, and all, it's yeah. on the Christmas list, but you know, Will Santa they come. do cost a lot. Absolutely. Mm. Shri, I'm really impressed by your wine rack. Apart from the obvious lava lamp, which of, well, I have two of them, <laughs> then I think all studios should have some county for emergencies. Yeah. Also just to celebrate if something good happens to you, and also if something bad happens to you, you probably want to open a bottle as well. Absolutely. And I think it's very good if you own Trillion. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually like owning my software. Um, and but I, I, this is, though, this is a fair point. Why don't I throw away the boxes of old software that I bought? I don't know. Something about it. I, I just threw away, you know, almost as much as this and it just feels like no it's a proof of purchase or, yeah. or something we've uh, been thinking of actually sending out just empty mm. boxes you know people yeah. flat pack boxes yeah. for people to build themselves of our stuff yeah we should something we can frame absolutely <laughs> no it's a good <laughs> this idea deal yeah. runs <laughs> software operations legally <laughs> so your your back line what yeah. an amazing setup and so you're a guitarist by yeah. by trade yeah yeah so that that's where it all comes from i actually uh, I have these amps, even I've been buying these back because I used to gig when I was a young man right. and we would all have stereo, stereo setups and yeah. Mesa were, up. but these are actually amazing amplifiers. So they've been lying in garages around Iceland. I've been picking them up for really good prices and I actually use them. But my go-to thing is this little lunchbox here. Oh, wow which actually for studio is perfect. And you use a Royer? Yeah, Royer on everything guitar. And they can handle high gain, can't they? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, 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 okay. they're excellent. I, yeah. I'm really, really happy about them. Fantastic. These look sumptuous, I don't know. I've never seen these before. These oh, but, well, this is, the, this is the bad thing about growing old, is when you see these listed on eBay as vintage and you bought them new. <laughs> 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 And it's kind of, there's no reason to sell them. I would never use them, but, you know. Excellent. I, I did, and they're a part of, you know, my making music. Fantastic. And, you know, I, I, I have an admiration for, oh, this is so horrible, companies that make stuff that I really don't like, but then make something that I just think, and the Line 6 delay is, do you know what I mean? It we, sounds we all crap hate the pod, as well. It this... sounds crap as well, but there is just no delay box out there that does exactly that yeah. thing you no, know absolutely and it just uh, and you know like i said earlier my go to uh, let's see you know this is the wow. this is the good stuff that's the i good love shit. this but i love this equally yeah and, and yeah and it doesn't sound good at all it does something grainy to your signal and just but it's bad in a good way yeah Okay. And there are things, we just live with that. And I, I can't get rid of it. I just want to keep it. You know. Thanks so much for your time. It I'd like to pleasure. end on one, I think, really important point is, okay. is, is we do have people who are aspiring uh, uh, to become media composers like ourselves. Mm. And I think it's important for us to reiterate that you don't need all of this shit. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I think that uh, equipment, I, I've always worked where there's lots of equipment, yeah. where there's lots of gear. So I have a gear less... I don't mean to refer to your stuff as no, shit, by the no, way. No, I, really I, I completely understand. understand yeah. And this is the first question we get from everybody who's starting out. You know, what do I need to spend on and why do I have to buy expensive stuff? And the real answer is you don't. 
uh, you do music, you make music with what you have. And that's yes. what I've always done since I was 10. I mean, you use what you have, you make the best out of it. Uh, but then, of course, when you, uh, if, if you just, if you, if you get to my age and you buy one guitar every year, yeah. you accumulate a lot of guitars. Absolutely. <laughs> I have um, and a lot of people say, what do you need to do what we do? Mm. You need a computer, you need a controller, yeah. you need uh, some speakers, headphones. Mm. And then people often say, oh, you need some samples or a sample library. And I just, and it's kind of sample dev suicide. But I say, no, the next thing you should get is a microphone to make your own sounds. Yeah. Because I think that the only way you can be truly original is, is start from, you know, yeah. from, from, is there any kind of advice that you have to young people about not falling into the traps and pitfalls of sounding like other people? Not really. I think what I usually say to people is that they start thinking about buying stuff that's over their budget, which is because they want to do good stuff and they see all the guys that have the good gear and want to be aspire to be like that. Yeah. But it's also a question, if you have a decent mic, I like really good mics, yeah. but if you have a decent mic, borrow or rent a really great one for that day when you need it and yeah. don't put all your money in that. That's a very good you know, and get help from people who own stuff. I gladly, when I have people I trust and, the, and they need something that I own that I'm not using, I'm just very happy to see it yeah. used. And I think there's a lot of people that think it this way. If we can help out somebody who's yeah. starting out with somebody, with something we own and don't use, yeah. which actually, you know, we accumulate a lot of stuff that we it's, don't turn on. It's a very good point. And I think it's something that's really important for people to realize is you don't, it's nice to be surrounded by this stuff, but you use it comparatively yeah. for a very short amount of time Absolutely. and I think it's quite good to be able to gather a bit of stuff go into mm. a studio and focus on creating some sounds yeah. build up a library and arsenal for your job with that yeah. and then just work work with that I know? think the metaphor is you, you know I like skiing but I don't wear ski boots all days because I just do it a couple of days in the year so I yeah. you know it's the same thing if, if, if you don't need to own all the best stuff it's great if you can get your hands on it when you need it yeah. Uh, so that your stuff sounds as good as it can. You know, a, one good channel, of great preamp, a very good mic, and on you go. Do your stuff. I think that's really invaluable advice, and I thank mm. you very much for your time. My pleasure. Brilliant. Great. Thanks.